hi there and welcome to episode number 46 of The Evidence. This is your buddy Dave over at Mars X 3D and you know what? I don't like to talk about personal stuff on this channel, but I do have a little bit of a problem. You see, I've got a sore butt. I bit myself in the ass. Yeah, it's true. You know what I did? In episode 44, first of all, you got to understand that I do all my own processing. 99.9% .9 of the time. I don't trust anybody to bring out the details like I would. And I also do that to ascertain whether an image is or anomaly is legitimate or not. But the image that I showed you of the aqueduct is what I called, called it. Uh, I used it because it had been around for a long time. It had been done by a researcher who, whose work I respect. And, uh, but the fact of the matter is, is that uh, there's a little bit of an overzealous use of the burn and dodge tool. My friend and colleague, Keith Laney, who I deeply respect, he's a former NASA image analyst, and man, he knows his stuff. He sent me the originals on this uh, image, and while there are still uh, some anomalous items in it, he says that these are sedimentary shelving that have been uh, revealed through shifting sand and blowing wind, that type of thing. I still wonder about that ditch on the left. Uh, and hopefully Keith is gonna be able to get the orbital image to me so that you can look down at it and uh, see what it looked like. If it's here, I'll, I'll include it. If not, we'll stick with it, uh, what I'm showing here. But the fact of the matter is, is that I broke my own rule and I got bit in the butt. And you know, I had to stand on a chair to do it. And that's not comfortable. So I apologize to you because it's very important to me to establish a level of trust <clears throat> with you, excuse me, that uh, the stuff that you look at that I present on this channel is legitimate. It's stuff you can trust, things I have done myself. I doubt whether I, I will ever break this rule again because the minute I did, Oh man, here it came to get me. So anyway, enough talking. Let's get into some of the really cool stuff that's been posted lately. And uh, well, hopefully you'll make up for it a little bit. Anyway, here we go. Keith Laney has been doing yeoman's work with his spirit gigapans. I don't think we've ever seen spirit's camera work as clean and as detailed as Keith is currently doing for us. Anyway, I was checking this gigapan out and saw this great boulder down on the right. I checked to see who first took a snapshot of it, and so I'm giving the credit to a person named Marcella. By the way, anyone can take a snapshot. It's what you do with it that counts and that turns it into intellectual property. Extract it, process it, validate it, and present it if you want to take ownership of it. Nevertheless, I always try to give credit to whomever first takes a snapshot of an anomaly. Yeah, I know, what a nice guy. This kind of resembles the statues called Moai, plural, or Moa, singular, that we find on Easter Island. Now, I know there's more than a little pareidolia going on here, but regardless what it might be, this stone has been worked. It's an evenly rectangular block, like a big brick, and all those protrusions are pretty darn symmetrical. I don't know. Let's go in closer. And what about that rectangular plate bent upwards in front of it. You don't see many sedimentary uh, layers bending like that, and yes, I know there are many other anomalies in this image. This is your chance to extract them, process them, validate them, and present them. Believe me, I'd love to see your work, and if it meets certain criteria, you could be in an upcoming episode of The Evidence. My email is in the description. As usual, my friend Terry Burnett is keeping me busy with all the great stuff 
he posts on Mars X-Files. You need to check his page out on Facebook, and if I don't wander away in a senior moment, I'll post a link down there in the description. Anyway, this thing is pretty good sized, and you can see pretty clearly, even in the context view, over there on the right. My first thought was that this looks like a, a carabiner, you know, those clips that mountain climbers put their ropes through. Of course, it's idiotic. It's, it's way too big, and as far as I know, they don't have ropes on Mars. Starting on the left, it has bent-up metal with a squared end and a hole in the center. Whatever covers the top looks like formed sheet metal. I mean, look at the 90 degree angle embossed on the right and the perfect radius on the end. Then you have that big rounded end that looks like a curved pipe. It actually looks like the bow of a, a life raft, doesn't it? Although that's of course not what it is. Seriously, people, it's beyond me how anyone can look at this and think it's a rock. Thanks again, Terry, for all your great work. I was a little bit too close to the microphone on that last one. Sorry about it. I'm too lazy to fix it. But anyway, Dean Sattler has made some really interesting finds over the last several months. And here's one he found in Keith Laney's Gigapan of 1432. Now, what the heck are we looking at here? It looks like twin half-cylinders mounted on top, and it sure looks like they're made of metal by the way they're reflecting the light. That tube or barrel coming out the front makes me wonder. Wait, let, let me rephrase that. Speculate irresponsibly that this might be some kind of ordinance. You know, maybe some kind of strange gun. Let's move in just a bit closer. I'd be interested to know what you think about this. To my eyes, it's clearly artificial and appears to be an artifact. A great find, Dean. Jim West has made many important discoveries over the years, and this one really caught my eye just the other day. Way off in the distance, I don't know, maybe a mile or so, is a hill you can see inside the target area. I suppose this could just be natural, but those evenly spaced kind of scallops on the cliff over on the left sure give an impression of intelligent agency, and it almost looks like a roof line over whatever that is, kind of built into the hillside. Let's get closer. Those markings under the roof could be natural, or they could be on purpose. In any case, another great find by Jim West. Hey, thanks for stopping by. You know, I want to remind you that it's really important to me that you look at the evidence and make up your own mind. I just offer opinion and speculation and a couple of pictures to go with it. This is your buddy Dave over Mars X3D. Be well.